Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Gears 5 class tutorial. So we're going to be wrapping up the promotional classes, uh, starting moving on to Protector. So today I'm going to be discussing the Protector class. Um, it was formerly a Meals class, so back in Operation 7, uh, they buffed the promotional classes to make them a little more viable in Horde and Escape. So prior to that update, they... Basically, if you had a class that was that had a purple local on it, so any of the promotional classes, people were probably discussing kicking you from the lobby. And now they buff the classes up to where they're not as they're not the strongest classes in the game. They're not better than demo or tactician or blade master, but they're they're viable, although one dimensional. But they are pretty 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 good on master escape. They can hold their own now. Um, so the protector, the role is, uh, it's a melee class that can turn the fight into their own favor by placing a powerful dome shield. So the dome shield that they, they drop, it's a blue shield about 5-6 meters wide um, that you, can sh you can't shoot out of and enemies can still walk inside, but it protects you from projectiles shooting in to the shield, so just keep that in mind. And you'll see gameplay of this later on. Uh, the ultimate ability is the drop shield. Activates a protective drop shield that prevents any projectiles from passing through. So it just blocks enemy fire from walking through. But like I said, enemies can still walk into the shield area. And you can't shoot out of it. Uh, the passive ability has been changed. It used to be like every sixth headshot drops pilfer ammo, which... Didn't really make sense. Yeah, the class spawned with a Markson horde, but it wasn't didn't have any sniping capabilities prior. So the passive now makes more sense with what the class is. Uh, you can heal for 50% of bleeding damage dealt and resist 30% melee damage. So it's similar to Lonnie or Blade Master's passive um, uh, in that sense. So I like to think of the Protector as semi Blade Master. Um, the only advantage really that it has over Blade Master is that uh, you can use your ultimate. I mean, you can start bleeding enemies without perking, which is cool. Um, so let's move on to the skill cards. Alrighty, moving on to the skill cards for Protector. So you got Regenerative Field. Uh, after avoiding damage for 4.25 seconds, you can regenerate 12 stim per second. So just like the Architect, it's the same card the Architect has to get stim. Um, so as long as you don't get damage for that time period, you'll get your stim uh, back. It's not a ton of stim, but it's just enough to keep you uh, from going down in one hit, which is kind of what stim does for you. So always a nice card to bring um, for sure. So, close range recharge. Uh, killing an enemy within 5 meters recharges drop shield by 28 seconds. So, I believe one of the changes they made in, uh, in Operation 7 is they reduced the alt time of a lot of these, I think all the promotional classes. Um, so, this the alt charge time for a protector is, used to be 300 seconds, now it's 150. So, killing an enemy within 5 meters, 28 seconds off your alt. Off an ult that only takes 150 seconds to recharge is pretty good. So maybe four or five melee kills and you get your ult back. Um, and you're able to drop that shield again and be effective that way. So great card to run um, in Horde or Escape. You don't really have a lot of options here for variety because there's only eight skill cards and two of them being score cards. So Moving on to Bloody Blade. Melee hits cause enemies to bleed for 130% of damage dealt. Uh, so this card was buffed up to 130%, it used to be 110, so that's pretty nice. Um, with this card um, on in Horde, you don't have to perk to melee, uh, do, do melee bleed damage like the Blade Master has to. Um, so you can start bleeding enemies right away. Um, and you don't need a breaker mace or anything like that. Uh, you just start meleeing and you'll be effective helping your team out in that way. And you'll also be getting healing. Uh, for bleeding damage that you're done doing from your passive, and you also get some melee resistance damage, which is nice. Big knife, it says melee damage is increased by 130%. So this is just your base melee damage. Um, so that'll bring it up from 750 in melee up to 1725, if my math is right. Um, 
So that's that's pretty nice. Um, each individual melee will hurt more as well. Uh, just makes the class when you pair this with Bloody Blade will make the class pretty decent um, as a melee class. Moving on to Drop Shield Duration. It says Drop Shield Duration increased by 100%. Um, so in Operation 7, they also changed the base duration of the, of the of your ultimate here. It used to be 10 seconds, now it's up to 15 per 15 seconds. So now you get a 100% increased drop shield duration based on that. So you, you can have your ult um, shield up for 30 seconds, uh, which is really nice. Escape, it's the same amount of time. Um, give your team some distraction. Um, your protector can start... Meleeing, killing enemies, using the breaker maze to inside that shield um, if needed. Great card to run uh, for sure. And then the card that I would probably swap this one out with is Nasher M45 mod. And it says 60% uh, extra damage and 30% active effects with the Nasher. So if you want to change the gameplay up with the protector, you can. Like, sort of like say, um, you can start. In the early ways, you can start like nashering enemies and then meleeing them, and then just using like sort of a reverse two piece if, if you know what that means. It's basically nasher an enemy, melee it um, to get some damage down. Like like a scion, it'd be pretty good for. Um, in escape hives with the nasher, um, there's plenty of hives with the nasher. Um, either you can get one from ammo rooms, or you can get one from a grenadier or elite grenadier, or well, just a regular grenadier. Um, you can take advantage of this card. Um, so yeah, I'd swap it. Like I said, I swap that this card with duration. Um, either you want longer ultimate time, or you want to do a little bit more damage. Sort of the sacrifice you got to make for each choice you make. And then, of course, score boost and epic score boost. If you want to run those cards, um, if you're running a high high score run in escape or timed run in horde, you can equip those cards um, so you can get more skill cards, gears, coins, whatever you're going for, um, leaderboard times. Um, those cards are there for you. But yeah, and those are pretty much the eight skill cards for protector. Moving on to the next section, I'm going to discuss um, basically. The horde perks, and then we'll, after that, we'll move on to some gameplay, and that'll be it. So the first perk I like to perk up is ultimate cooldown. Um, so they already reduced the alt charge in Operation Seven from five minutes or 300 seconds down to 200 seconds, and so this what this this perk will do is even reduce it even more. So now you're really getting your ult like every two minutes or so, um, plus whatever damage you're doing. It's going to make it even faster so you can have the shield more often. Um, so that's what's a great perk for that. Um, damage resistance is really good too. Uh, that maxes at 30%. So it plays with the passive. So as long as you're bleeding enemies, you're always going to be healing and taking less damage. So this is a great perk to have for that. Um, you can sponge melee hits from elite drones until probably the 30s and 40s will be too strong i think by then um, but it certainly will help your survivability um, in horde for sure uh damage is the next perk i'll do uh, that maxes 50 percent and um you can just go to town really helpful in the later waves uh, on killing a lot of the enemies um, the one of the great things about protector is that you don't have to Perk up bleed damage, so you have melee damage from this get-go, and then you can additionally add on to that with the perk, which is nice. Um, so get yourself a Breaker Mace from a Warden. Um, they typically spawn on waves 8 through 10. Um, if not, buy one from the Fab, you know, with the Engineer not looking, and, <laughs> and you can go to town uh, with that. And then the last perk is Movement Speed. Um, really fun. To have movement speed um, maxes at 30 percent faster speed uh, as a melee class is really important to have the damage resistance and the, the damage output and the healing needed and but it's also really important to escape certain scenarios where you may be in danger um, escape back to cover quicker um, so you can heal so that's really nice for nice perk to have for this class 
Definitely a lot better perks than they used to have for sure. Alrighty guys, so moving on to the last part of the video, I'm going to show some gameplay um, of Protector Class in action. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace! Let's do this. This is the best they've got.